Hey everyone, uh, this is a quick video on top three Haram chocolate eggs from Tesco because I know this is the time people are going to be buying. Just remember to subscribe to the video, the channel, uh, like it as well. So the first one, uh, the most common one is M&M's. Uh, with these M&M's, um, you can see here in the packaging, if you have a look, it indicates uh, it's the E1... Uh, uh, sorry, it's, well, it would say E120, it says Carmine here. So Carmine... Uh, generally goes under E120 but uh, sometimes M&M changes it to a uh, Carmine uh, so that was a yellow packet here we have the uh, blue one so this, this is a blue box um, just slightly different in terms of flavoring uh, but if we have a look around on the box again uh, same again look you can see here uh, it's the Carmine marking that you're looking out for so these are from Tesco's and uh, then you've got the third and last one. Uh, so with this one, we did a video on lion, lion bars. So lion bars generally are not suitable for vegetarian because of cross contamination. Uh, you can see a, a video on our channel regarding that uh, with the recording that we had with them. So in ingredients, it doesn't say anything. As you can see, there's nothing on the packing that says are not suitable for vegetarians. It is because of uh, cross contaminations with animal products. Um, so we're going to move on in a second in regards to uh, what is E120, what is Carmine. So I thought the best way is uh, to give you some facts. Uh, so but here, just to over overview is the three boxes uh, that you got to watch out for if you're in Tesco's. So in regards to uh, Carmine, um, you can do it yourself. We're doing it for you though. Uh, what is Carmine? So uh, I thought the most one of the most reliable sites would be um, uh, Wikipedia. Um, but you can also see loads of um, uh, content in Google covered with this. So Carmine is also known as Cochineal, uh, also known as Crimson Lake in America. Uh, here is commonly known as E120. It's a bright coloured uh, colouring that's obtained uh, from bugs, basically. Um, so there's plenty of information here. You'll see that uh, here. Uh, how the uh, bugs in terms of feed on the plants here so this is the this is initially the coloring that you'll see come out the pinkish that you can see here um it's also used in makeup as well um so th this is in terms of bugs that uh, are used in terms of the coloring because it works out cheaper for the companies um so you see here it's used for dye for a lot of products it goes by different names depending on where you are in the world so in the united states um, it's got these uh, different names, uh, like I said, crimson, carmine, uh, or cochineal extract, um, or, or the user number. Uh, cochineal is another one. Carmines is another one. Natural red four is another one. Um, it is approved by the FDA, uh, for, uh, and, and it's still used quite commonly. Um, so here you can see it's approved by the European Union. It's still used. Uh, pretty much everywhere a lot of people question it what's the point does it really matter but you have to remember uh islamically he, apart from locust uh cochineal uh is an insect that would not be allowed and if you can have a look at the insect here you can see this is th this is what the bug looks like there's various different versions of the bug um, but they go under the same name cochineal uh, you can google it as well uh, the feed off uh, uh, cactus plants and various other plants. Um, same again, more information here. Um, the replacement is generally beetroot, but not a lot of the companies use it because it's more expensive for them. Um, here you can see more information regarding it. It's very commonly used in America. Um, it is slowly going away in UK, but there's still a lot of products that do use carmine. Um, uh, but they just label it very different. It's used as a dye in a lot of products as well as you can see here in clothing uh so i thought it'd be a good idea to show you exactly what it looks like so um so these are the different type of cochineals as you can see different variations of the red coloring here is there's a bit of a history lesson exactly where they come from their life cycle how they used how they're basically crushed together to make that red coloring um so just moving on lastly you should be able to see um in very intense detail here what exactly they look like and you can see these bright colors this is initially when they start getting crushed 
the bright pinkish that you can see. You can see our post there as well in uh, Google Images, uh, where we made people aware many, many years ago, but they still uh, don't seem to notice. Um, you can see the powder form that's used in makeup. Uh, it's used in drinks as well. Uh, and that's a very clear picture there on the right hand side. You can see it's used in a lot of drinks as well. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So they're the top three products to watch out for in Tesco's, that is. We'll hopefully start covering more. Just remember to subscribe. Uh, look out for us on uh, Instagram under Is It Halal Haram? On Facebook, we're under Halal Haram. Thank you. <laughs>